am Narendra. In this video, we will try to learn about the dimension effect in nanomaterials. As I mentioned in the previous videos that nanomaterials means the size of a material should be at nanoscale range or it is typically less than 100 nanometer. So here we are talking about the size that means the dimension. We can see the things in a three dimensions like x, y and z. So all these three dimensions we can visualize uh, any kind of a material. So if uh, any one of these dimension is reduced to nanoscale, what we can call that material. So let us take a cubic box. So you can visualize these three dimensions in this cubic box right so this is x y and z so let us take a size of a. each dimension is like this a along the x-axis and b along the y-axis and c along the z-axis so if suppose all these three dimensions are near to one micrometer so we can or above one micrometer we can call it as a bulk material Okay, so these, these three dimensions are not in nanoscale range. So we can call it as a bulk material. If suppose any one of the dimension is reduced to nano level, how it look like? Okay, so if suppose if you reduce the size in, along the Z direction. So it's look like a sheet, right? Yeah, you can visualize here. So this type of a structure we can call as a 2D nano structure, right? So here the C is nearly 100 nanometer or less than 100 nanometer and A and B are near to one micrometer. So if suppose the two dimensions are reduced to nano level, so it looks like It looks like a rod, right? So this is like a rod-like structure. So this we can call it as a 1D nano structure. If suppose three dimensions are reduced, in case of 1D nano structure, the C and A are nearly 100 nanometer, and B is near to one micrometer. Let us say, I'm just for example, I am taking all these dimensions. Right? If suppose the three dimensions are reduced to nano level, it looks like a smaller size, right? All these three dimensions are nearly or less than 100 nanometer, right? So if suppose all these dimensions are reduced, even reduced to exciton bore radius. Exciton bore radius means electron hole pair combination, right? So it has a bore radius. Okay, it is even less than this 100 nanometer. Each material have a different exciton bore radius. So if the material their their size is near to exciton bore radius, that we can call quantum materials. So the Confinement is quantum confinement. That means the movement of electron is restricted. In case of bulk, electron can move freely in all these three dimensions. But in case of confinement, quantum confinement material, the electron is restricted any one of the dimensions. Suppose the quantum confinement takes place in this C dimension, so the electron movement is restricted in this dimension, but electron can move all these two dimensions. So here the two dimensions are restricted, confined, so the electron can only move in this dimension. In case of this, this we can call the zero dimensional nanostructure. So in case of confinement, the electron movement is restricted all these three dimensions right so here we are trying to see the 
density of states so how the density of states changes from the bulk to nano level so here we are discussing about density of states so you can understand right the density of states so let us uh, tell you briefly so if you take a atom any atom suppose hydrogen atom it has only one electron right so only one energy state so that means one energy state it has only discrete energy states so only one electron in the ground level okay suppose one energy state level okay e1 okay. suppose if you add many number of atoms and form a solid suppose solid system if is formed with a many number of atoms so there are band of energy states form so there are many number of energy states so this called the density of states so in case of bulk so the density of states proportional to square root of e so that so if you plot the density of states as a function of energy so here we are uh, taking the density of states per unit energy and per unit per unit value okay right so if you see the plot of density of states as a function of energy so it it's like a continuous okay it's increasing okay continuous but in case of 2d nanostructure the density of states is constant that means it's proportional to e power 0 you can write it like this right so if you plot the density of states as a function of energy it is like a constant it's okay but in case of 1d nanostructure the density of states proportional to 1 by square root of energy and the plot looks like this so it is like a decreases but in case of zero dimensional the density of states proportional to the delta function of energy that means it is like a straight line right okay the density of state as a function of energy that means it is like a in case of zero dimensional the energy states like discrete energy state so here we are seeing like a atomic scale range okay so the energy states will be the discrete energy levels so if you take any example so that we can see all these things right so if you take a graphite material so graphite is a bulk material okay so the density of mainly decides the electronic and optical properties of a material so here you can see that how the electrical property changes with the nano scale range okay so in case of graphite the conductivity is electrical conductivity here I am talking the to the power of minus 4 semen per centimeter but in case of 2d nanostructures so the sheet like structures sheet or thin frames all these materials falls into this category so here we can take that graphene is a sheet 2d sheet so the conductivity is quite high 10 to the power of 4 semen per centimeter. So, in comparison to the bulk material, so this graphite is a bulk, right? But in a 2D sheet like graphene, the conductivity is electrical conductivity is quite high. But if suppose graphene sheet, it's like a sheet, right? If you roll this sheet, it's like a rod or tube, okay? So this is called the carbon nanotube. So in case of carbon nanotube, the conductivity even higher, 10 to the power of 6 per semen per centimeter. So here the one dimension means the rods, tubes, wires, all these things are falls into category. Zero dimension means the, some kind of a nano dots or nanoparticles or quantum dots if you take quantum materials okay 
so in case of this graphite related material is that is a carbon dot or carbon con quantum dots so if you mix this carbon dots with any polymer so the conductivity nearly 10 to the power of minus 6 c14 cm or 10 to the power of minus 6 to 10 to the power of minus 10 c14 cm so the conductivity is decreases so here we can see that if suppose carbon dots are mixed with a polymer we have to see the percolation of a percolation percolation length is needed to conduct okay so this is a polymer and these are the quantum dots or nano dots so this percolation length is needed to conduct so that generally it shows the conductivity nearly micro siemens per centimeter so in all these cases the nano scale is mainly changes the electrical and optical properties so i hope uh, you understand a little bit about the dimension effect in nano materials so next time we will see with the other topic in nano science and nano technology hope you enjoyed see you with the next video To see more videos like this and please consider subscribing.